welcome to creating folds and again I'm Allison Knoll and uh, well, this is my little tutorial on how to make folds for your clothes. Uh, my first tutorial uh, basically consisted of me showing you basic ropes. This is uh, all these steps I followed over and over again to make my fold template. Alright, what you need to do is you need to open a open a new file or open the file you're working on and uh, it's really really simple trust me okay what I did here was I picked a color and uh, right now I'm kind of messing with things because I uh, kind of messed up the order of how I like things in my toolbox so uh, to fix things it's pretty easy there's this little arrow at the very top you uh, click it and add whatever button you want I have my tool options and my layers obviously those are the two things I only really use alright from that point you're gonna go and uh, create a new layer and uh, right here I'm changing my brush size and uh, brush type I'm using a fuzzy brush make it a little bit bigger so you can see it alright and uh, I'm drawing in black first I'm just drawing a straight line in black and uh, I drew a straight line white underneath but uh, you don't really need a white line underneath. A white line on top would be probably better. I don't know many light sources that come from the bottom and go down up. It's a little weird. Your shadow is your black. Your uh, light source is your white. Okay. Now what I did there was I went to my filters and I went to my distorts and I opened up a uh, eye warp. Okay. It's kind of uh, similar to Photoshop in that aspect. You can uh, do a lot of things with this. You can grow, you can shrink, you can uh, remove what you've done in small spaces or large spaces, okay? I just got the basic shape of it down. So now what I'm doing is I took the smudge brush and I'm smudging it around, basically. I'm getting the shape that I want. The pretty simple shape, a nice straight, flat one. Okay, and I'm... Uh, making sure that it conforms to what I have in my head, basically. Alright, and uh, as I smudge, I'm uh, making sure that those white parts go out a little bit more, as well as the dark parts, and I'm giving it a little tail and all that. Looks kind of like a speeding UFO from here. <laughs> Alright, from this point you gotta change the layer mode. I change mine pretty much always to overlay. And I went back into eye warp, and I'm uh, going to be moving this a little bit. Alright, when you move it, you try to click on or near the actual thing that you're moving. This would be the fold, of course. And it uh, moves accordingly depending on the size and the pressure that you have. I personally don't use a tablet, but if you have a tablet, I'm sure you would enjoy this very much. And then I just went back to smudging and getting into the shape that I want. It's not a perfect science, obviously, but you, know, you do what you have to do. Now, basically, I'm just uh, shaping it the way that I want. A lot of this is just guesswork, and you know, there's not much more you can do about it. You know, you just have to, you just have to eye it and hope for the best. And if not, you can always start again. That's the beauty of layers. <laughs> All right, and uh, as you get going, you get better at it, and it goes along a little bit more smoothly. Alright, and uh, right here I've changed the opacity of it now, so, so it's a little less noticeable, a little more noticeable, it just depends on your taste really and uh, what you're working with. You know, since I'm working with a blank sheet, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to make it uh, not all that visible since it's just showing you guys what to do. Now right here I'm cleaning up it, I'm cleaning up the fold a little bit, I got rid of that, you know, wiggly part of the tail and I, uh, Got rid of some of that excess blur around it, pretty much. And uh, now I've taken to rotating it around. Yeah. When you do that, you get a pretty easy way to handle it. So uh, you just take your T-bar and you move it around where you want it to. I've duplicated the layer. I uh, flip the view. And uh, right now I am uh, moving the layer around. You know, just getting a general concept of what I'd want. You know, this would probably be good, you know, 
you know, I'd say under the arm maybe or you know if you do it right you could probably get away with it on the belly depends on the kind of shirt you're using really or the back of the knee would probably be a really great place for this yeah just the way you have it okay and uh well that's just about all I can teach you about how to do folds they're simple they're easy and they're fun to play with if you have the time all right uh that's all for me thank you again have a good day hope you enjoyed something and learned something too